Oh no! What happened? Another one? This is the fourth time, huh? How was the date? Not good, I'm guessing, huh? Four times two is eight, eight times two is 16. That's a lot of date that you've been going in and well, kind of you're just the only person there. I think that's a signal. It's sad, but these are pretty, pretty nice though. You have good taste, buddy. That I can tell you. But I have something to help you, you know, kind of just to help you out, attract that person that probably will reciprocate what you're looking for and what you're bringing into the table because you're bringing a lot of love over here and nothing's being returned. Here, I'll show you something. Look at it. These are the things that might help you attract that person. The right one. The one that vibes with your frequency. You have here a very wonderful rose quartz. This vibes to the part of unconditional love and kindness and also friendship. You have agate, citrine, and amethyst. Amethyst promotes inner peace and healing, which you need in order for you to express your love. And of course, you have wonderful, amazing, clear quartz over here that promotes harmony in the relationship. What do you think? It's pretty awesome. Yeah, take it. It's pretty good. Now, that's yours. I'm going out tonight and I have a date. So I'm keeping this, okay? Good luck with your date. And you don't need to wish me luck because I have that with me a long time already, okay? <laughs> Bye, buddy. Hi Capricorn, welcome to Cosmetology. If you are here for the February 19 full moon prediction, um, please watch the first part at A3 Love Inc. Um, so that you guys will understand the bigger part of the message. Here we discuss the ascendant and the moon for the Capricorn. So you're going to be Capricorn moon or a Cap uh, Capricorn ascendant or Capricorn moon. Capish. Capricorn, here we go. What is going on here? We have K2. Ooh, okay. No, I'm just having a... No, because I saw Sag over here. And Sag has Saturn and Venus, but I didn't discuss with them. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's go on up to the Capricorn. No, okay. Capricorn with K2. You've been comfortable. Let's face it. You've been cool. You've been chill. You've been confident. You've been getting everything. I know. Because one of my, um, you know, how to call this, one of my staffs is a Capricorn. Good, amazing, okay? That's K2 being Capricorn. Comfortable, a pro. I do it, it happens, I do it, it happens. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. But I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm bored because I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. But it reflects in your personality because it's happening, okay? Um, if um, It's happening in your seventh house. Here's the tricky part. You've been being asked by Rahu and K2 for the past 18 months, because they're going to move now, okay, for you to have a relationship. Don't marry your work, it says here. But if you are married already, you're probably, um, you're probably experiencing um, being torn between your partner and, your home uh, and yourself. Like, you won't have time for yourself because your partner is always asking of you and then you just want to be by yourself. Okay, because remember, K2 is isolation also. Now, moon is happening in your house of partnership, in seventh house. So the person that you're dealing with can be erratic. Remember, the seventh is not you. How I always read it, it's not you. It's happening to the people around you. The people around you, because this is partnership, it can be in relationship, it can be a romantic relationship, business partner, anybody besides you is a relationship. Your neighbor, your best friend, all those are different kinds of relationship, partnership. Okay, but if you are into romantic relationship, 
they might need you. They might ask you for your time. They might say this, this, and that, okay? Because it's Mercury, Ashlesha ruled. So it's about communication. Um, there might be a sneaky way of them trying to get you. Meaning, it's just like, in order for them to have you, they would have to some sort of like, white lie okay so but of course for you it's like you know a lie is a lie so a lie is a lie but they might they might i'm just saying okay because it's a sleazy way of getting you can be also into partnership so you have to be careful with who you deal with because it might be sleazy during the time not the best time for business relationship not the best time to sign contract it's mercury also it's actions not the best time for the next five months five five days okay no, don't do it that day. Especially Rahu is there. You might see things in the fine print in a partnership. You might see things in the document. The fine print is not there. Okay? So look into the detail. Before you decide, let, you know, let five days pass. Don't. Not right now. Okay? Especially it's in the seventh house. All right, but you have to address if you're married and in your romantic relationship, you have to address that connection between your with, between the person. Remember, you're always good by yourself. It's time for you to realize that that partner is someone that is meant for you. Rahu is soulmate. You've been fa uh, facing your soulmate, your karmic person for the past 18 months. That's Rahu there. Okay? So thank you very much, Capricorn. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Hopefully there's more of this at Cosmictology. We will try, but we will not promise. I'll see you again. Bye, Capricorn.